Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to add a product to your inventory using a barcode on stock controller. Now you can do this all by yourself with a phone. You don't need a barcode scanner machine or device. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So I've got these beautiful Lovisa earrings that I'm planning to sell and um, I want to keep inventory of them so I don't lose track of the quantity I have. So first I'm going to go to stock controller. Then um, if you've already set up your stock controller, you're good to go. But if not, you can check a video that I did in the past to see how to use stock controller. Now with the product that I'm going to add, I don't have its category um, yet. It's just, it's just a new category product. So I'm going to go to add data, go to add product type. Okay, so I'm going to give the name of the product type is earrings. I hadn't been selling earrings in the past. Code, maybe just ear, just make something up. I don't really need a description and I'm going to hit save. So right now, earrings is a category of the product I sell, or it's a product type. Now I'm going to add data. This is what you do every time when you need to add a product to inventory. And then we're going to go to add product, right? Now it's really simple. When it comes to the data here, you're just going to fill them one by one. Okay. So I'm going to add photo first. So choose from gallery. If you already have pictures of the product, it's for you. If not, you can take a photo. It's going to open up my camera and I can just put the product here and take a photo of it really quick. All right. When I'm done, it will ask me to retry if it was blurry or okay. I think it's okay. This picture is good enough to recognize. Then it's going to ask me for the name. Now I'm going to put in um, the name of the product and the information, etc. But the next thing that is a lot important to a lot of people is the barcode. When I press that, it's going to open a barcode scanner and I'm going to get the product to turn it around. Now the important thing is to make sure the product is far away from the camera. Then it will scan the barcode. I'm just going to show it to you again. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So if it's too close to the product, the phone has difficulty scanning the barcode. So you have to take it further away and then voila, all done. So then now you add the other information, um, the name of the product. I usually give my products my own names. So... You can use the, um, the barcode or you could just give it your own name. Um, I'll just say Lovisa pink gold earrings, pink earrings. It's the only one in this color. So now, so I'm just going to use pink earrings. Now it's going to ask me for a code. I make up the code as well. Um, if you have, um, particular codes, you can do that. Now I went to, so units is fine, type of units you can do like based on what it is, if it's in boxes and kilograms and pounds, whatever the product entails. Now type, we are going to go down to what we just add, added. So it should say earrings, perfect. And description, it's not needed for me because I know the product and I'm the only one who usually handles this. So which is fine. Now this is the price of the product. Um, you can use the price on the product or whatever price you are deciding to sell the product for. So I'll just go with that. And the amount of tax, if you're, you have a tax holiday, you can leave it at zero. And then you can actually set it up so that it's um, stock controller will send you an alert if your inventory is running low. So I usually like to keep it at five because um, when it tells me I have five, then I can place an order for more and it will come in on time. And then you press save and voila, you're done. Once it says uploading to cloud, uploaded, you're all done and you can go on and do the same thing to the next product. Thank you for watching. Bye.